So sales, for example, adapt and specialize. I have, say, I have root hair cell. Root hair cells is very specialized. It has special elongated structure. This elongated structure allow it to absorb water and mineral salts better than other cells. Other cells are like this, okay? Because its function is to absorb water and mineral salts only, it can afford to have elongated structure, okay? Other cells, such as the photosynthetic cells, they have lots of chloroplasts, but they don't have the elongated structure like root hair cell, root hair cell. This one is your palisade cell. Palisade cells carry out photosynthesis. Huh? Okay? Palisade cells have a lot of chloroplasts. Root hair cells have elongated structure. So notice they can adapt and specialize. So you can walk for number two, you can absorb water and carry out photosynthesis at the same time. You don't have to absorb water first, later I'll carry out photosynthesis, after photosynthesis then only I absorb water, all this. Okay? So you can actually do a lot of function simultaneously. Simultaneously. That is a very huge advantage. Okay? So, when they ask you, the advantage of division of labor. Here, the advantage of division of labor, tell them by having division of labor, you cells can adapt and specialize. Number two, many functions can be carried out simultaneously. 